welcome back to my channel i'm nicole i have just done a little bit of a grocery haul i wasn't deliberately going grocery shopping i actually went into audi to pick up a few things for i'm trying to tick off things that we need for our holiday we've got coming up towards the end of the year and i've got a few things from well more than a few things from chemist warehouse i'll show you that one after my things i got from audi um, everybody had Hungry Jacks for dinner, but I didn't have Hungry Jacks. I'm trying to be good. <laughs> I'm actually getting a treadmill tomorrow, so I'm super, super excited. I did have one that I got from a friend, but my husband stuffed it up to try to fix it for me. So that one went to the rubbish tip. So I've got a really good condition one that is worth about 1400 brand new, and I'm getting it for a good price. So I'll be picking that up for me tomorrow. I wasn't going to work, but um, my boss asked me today, and working about eight to one and it's really good money because it's that day so i'm like yeah right extra spending money for bali so excited but i'll show you what i picked up from audi yeah, we got a few father's day cards for my husband we got this one and then what we saw this one my daughter actually said mum you need to get this because it says dad you're the best and hudson as i've told you before in vlogs He'll never ever say, Dad, you're the best. It's like you and Mum are the best. So we're going to cross this out and dodge it up a bit and say, Dad and Mum are the best. Just a little bit of a joke. So I got those two cards. I think they're about two bucks. Didn't check the price. They're normally pretty cheap from there. But we've got some more sliced mushrooms. I've got to be quick. My phone's flat. <laughs> uh, bag of carrots, 99 cents. Brussels sprouts were about four bucks. These are beautiful roasted. Even my 14 year old daughter said, I can't believe people don't like Brussels sprouts. They're so good. Got some nanas, got some spring rolls. I bought three packs of steamed rice. I know it's pretty lazy, but I was going to actually cook butter chicken for dinner, but ended up just buying them food. I was going to get my daughter a slushie and then said stuff that I'll just buy used dinner and because it was pretty late by the time I got home. It's seven o'clock now and we got home about half past six, so. But these are just good to have on hand, actually, anyway. So I got two basmati, and I got myself a brown whole grain jasmine rice. We got some of these marvellous little mousse, chocolate mousses. We got some olives. Uh, we got some electrolytes, so these will be getting put away for barley. Just really good when you've been drinking, which will be a lot of that going on, no doubt. And if you get sick and that, they're always really good in as well for making you feel a bit better. We've got some... Garlic naan bread, two packs of those. I actually got them because I've really felt like homemade, just butter chicken with some garlic naan. I might even make some of that still for myself, won't take long. We've got some, Sorry, my voice sounds a bit funny. I have been sick and I'm still getting better, so it's a bit croaky still. But we got some of these Southwest style chicken pops. So they're normally six fifty. and we got them for four fifty. So that's all right, we've got two of those. We're actually gonna cook those for dinner too, but yeah. Got some icy poles, some platter pops, chalk coated ones, and some spider sticks, and some frozen yogurts. I'm gonna actually pop those in the freezer right now because they've been sitting here for half an hour and the fire's on. I got some chicken breasts. I was gonna get chicken thighs to do the butter chicken, but they were more expensive than chicken breasts. So I ended up getting chicken breasts, which is healthier anyway. And there's less fat and gross stuff to cut off, so it's all good. Uh, four litres of juice. Got these marked down. I reckon it was five ninety nine. Now four nineteen, but I'm pretty sure when I looked down the bottom of the price, it said ten bucks. So pork and feta meatballs is one point one kilo meal, and these were marked down to four dollars twenty. So it's really good, and they're good till the well, another three days away, wherever the date is on them. It was on there somewhere. The fifth. It's only second today. So I'll pop those in the fridge and might even do them. I don't know, over the weekend sometimes. Got some um, chips. That was just to go with those chicken, pop, pop chicken, whatever they call them. Got the garlic bread. Got some more bum nuts. Got three cartons of those. Um, some more cheese. They actually didn't have any blocks of normal cheese. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Yeah, so I ended up just getting another bag of my light cheese and I got a bag of mozzarella because I've got those big long breadstick things in my big freezer that we want to make pizzas with. So 
might do those tomorrow night. Just see how we go, how long I work for. Uh, I've got two cartons of skim milk, some beef, two minute noodles. I actually haven't bought them for a while since I've doubled, doubled the price. But two bucks is still alright for five pap, I suppose. Um, Scarlet picked some chips, so sweet chili and sour cream and crisp and tangy. And we also got some sun cream for our holiday. We were in Chemist Warehouse. And I said to Scarlett, right, stay here. I'm just going to run next door to Aldi and check how much their sun cream is. The best price Chemist Warehouse had was this amount, which is a litre, for $25 to $30. And Aldi worked out $12, I want to say $13. So pretty much half price. Um, better than half price, actually. Um, yeah, so I ended up just grabbing three. I did contemplate four, but I probably will buy another one. Me and my odd and even numbers. Uh, a couple of tins of dog food. And that was about it for um, for that. And it was 200 bucks, so it's quite expensive for how much I got, really. How much shopping I could do before, and I'd spend about 160 bucks. So it's quite a lot more, as you know yourself, when you go and do your own grocery shopping. So I'm going to quickly pop the stuff in the fridge and freezer and then I'll show you what we got from Chemist Warehouse, one of my favourite shops, so good. So we went to Chemist Warehouse and uh, actually these weren't from Chemist Warehouse, these were from Audi, I forgot to show you these in my vlog. Two bucks just for some cleansing wipes. I got some the Panthen for barley, this is for tattoos. We got some Travacalm, ginger. I don't know how good these are going to be. I said to the lady at work that the camera's like, are these really good? She said, I don't know. I said, well, there's only three boxes left, so they can't be that bad. I'll get real bad travel sickness, and so does the young bloke. I got some uh, Olay. These were 20 bucks for the two-pack. Uh, otherwise, it was 13 bucks for one. So I really like this stuff. And we got some Aerogard. So most of this stuff is for Bali, by the way, if I didn't mention that already. Um, so this is for tattoos for Bali. This is for traveling in Bali. Oh, God. That's one thing I don't really don't look forward to, but we're going to go rafting and stuff, and there's a lot of things that, oh, God. It's just horrible. I just hate car seat. Um, but, yeah, sorry, squirrel. Back to the Aerogard. So this was 250 mils for just over 10 bucks which is really good price point so we got two of those and i have said before do not spray this in your room where there's tiles because it is so bloody slippery it's not even funny so you need to be very careful where you spray it i just told my older boys they need to get some for their room we got some more micellar water this is a monstrous bloody bottle how much is in here 700 mils ripper and it was like 13 bucks. We love the stuff. Another little travel tip um, is I used to take my little bottle in my makeup bag, but not anymore. All I do is I squirt some on my little makeup removers and put them in a Ziploc bag and pop them in my makeup bag. And it saves me all that weight that I can put clothes in there instead. <laughs> uh, we got some deodorant. Scarlet actually got told off by the lady sorry we don't do like testing for the deodorants i'm like yes yeah, scarlet <laughs> yeah it was quite funny um so that's for her that's for me and they had these ones so i've got a couple of them for hubby and the stay free stuff is all still half price so i've got those for the girls in the house as well and one more thing i had to keep in the bag because it's Father's Day. Got my husband a big bag of jelly beans, one kilo bag. They're about thirteen dollars, so he will love those. I'll put him in a jar from. Actually, I might even buy a special jar for him. I did buy him a jar. I might look for it. But these wouldn't even fit in there anyway. It's not really not big enough. So all my things from the Chemist Warehouse came to like $104, so pretty good prices. Okay guys, I'm going to leave the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.
Thanks for watching. Bye.